Ooh, hello there. So, guacamole time. Mm-hmm. And we got avocados. Can you see it? Can you see it? That's an avocado. You see it? Organic. And then we've got the um, Chef Rick Bayless Frontera Original Guacamole Mix. Can you see it? Can you see it? But I don't just use that. I also use this because I like lots of flavor in my guacamole. Can you see it? So four avocados, both of these packets. Then I put some chopped onions in there after the fact, and that's really all there is to it. Oh my gosh, how easy is that? So I use a cake knife to cut open the avocado because uh, it's it's plastic knife, and then I don't cut my palm by mistake. Quickest way to do it is just to do this part first. Do one thing at a time. So you're opening avocado, you're having the avocados, halving, not having, halving the avocados one at a time. Get them all done. That's the most efficient way to do stuff. Just do one thing at a time. Then I'm gonna pit them all. So you just chop right at the pit. Twist it. Comes right out. You take your garbage. Pops right in. How easy is that? Of course, these avocados are nice and ripe. It's so easy to do that with. And then I take a spoon and I scoop it out. I used to have one of those fancy avocado thingies, but it's just not really, it broke. And then I was forced to use a spoon again. And when I had the avocado thing, I thought, wow, this is so amazing. It's so cool and so easy, how much easier and all that stuff. Because I thought it was for some reason. And then I had to go back to a spoon. I was intending on getting back to the av miracle avocado maker scooper thing. And, but then I was like, actually, you know what? It really didn't save any time and spoons are kind of just as good. So, and way easier to clean. And now we take the packets. Now, hey, Chef Rick Bayless, okay? This packet company that you have selected to package your guacamole mix is lame. Look, I, I tear, I, see you, you get these little tabs to tear. So we, we use them, it doesn't go all the way across. So okay, we'll go on the other side, use that one too. And now it's still sealed. I tore off the whole top. It's still sealed. I can't, I can't get, it did nothing. Just, oh, so lame. So I know just, I don't ever do that anymore. I know just to, to use scissors and I just cut them both across the top and that's really fast and I'm all about speed. So there we go. Dump it up on in there, the powder. Dump it all up on Ender. The lid. The on button. I already had some chopped onions from previous recipes, so I'm gonna put a third of this much, it's like half an onion, in there. I'm gonna chop it up in little pieces, and then I'm gonna put the other two thirds in there after it's done, you just mix it in. So I get the onion taste chopped up on ender, but I also get the onion chunks afterwards. Best of both worlds. Oh yeah. All right. Oh geez. My pants are stuck. Can you? These particular shorts drive me crazy. The handles are just, just the wrong height for these sh particular shorts. And they do this. <laughs> I'm done. So now I'm gonna put it in a container. Let's do, uh, 
I'm low on containers. Why am I low on containers? I must be using a lot of them. Oh yeah, I'm using a lot of containers. Look at all these containers, what I'm using. I've got chocolate cupcakes in here, more cupcakes in here, more cupcakes in here. I made a big batch. A little bit of guacamole in there from the last batch. Beef and broccoli in there. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Oh, I'm using this one to thaw some ground beef. And this is uh, frosting, chocolate frosting. So that's what all my containers are. Oh, that looks so good. You'll be amazed, shock and awe at how good this is. So much better than anything to buy in the store. Although, Whole Foods brand, the stuff that they make in their store, their guac is pretty good. If you're hurting for time and you can't make it yourself, or you're just lazy, then go for, go for the Whole Foods guacamole. But fresh, homemade is so fresh and so homemade. You can't get any more homemade than this that's made at home. There's something about homemade too. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. You could eat this stuff straight. Guacamole goes with anything. It even goes with itself. Mm. Okay, so now I'm on the mix the rest of those onions up on in dirt. How quick is that? Wait about half the time. I wasn't goofing around talking about everything. So you can see, this is so fast, so easy. You know, if I had some diced tomatoes, I'd put those in there too. And one more thing. Can you see it? Can you see it? The reason, so it doesn't get all brown. It really helps. It really helps a lot. So for this much, for four, four well, I always just dump it in, but for video's sake, I'm going to measure it. Two tablespoons. That's how much. And then, actually normally, I do that while it's still in the food processor. So it mixes in more thoroughly, but <clears throat> um, we're just gonna do it this way for now. It's gonna be just as good. There we go, mix it thoroughly. And we're done. Ah, can you see it? Can you see it? Ah, yeah, buddy. Now you do it. Do it. Okay, bye-bye.